All right, guys, we are going to do how my thinking leads to eating. I just saw a photo of myself and my lower brain is screaming at me. What is the point of doing any of this? Look at how big you are. Look at how much weight you've gained. This is all pointless. You might as well not even do it. Okay. And I actually had a client say those exact words that came from her lower brain. She saw a photo of herself. She was not happy with where her weight was and her lower brain kicked in with why bother? Like basically that was the gist of the message. And I said to her, what you have to keep in mind, first off, you have to talk back, which it's really cool. I'm seeing people uh, here on YouTube actually respond and say, oh my gosh, I did the talking back thing and it actually worked. <laughs> and I have clients that do it too. They're like hesitant to want to talk back to their lower brain. I promise you, my entire 170 pound weight loss journey, I talk to myself every single day. I literally had to coach myself every day, multiple times a day. Heather, what are you focusing on? Heather, nope, that's, that's not, we're not doing that. <laughs> Constantly. Um, so I said to her, here's the thing. Your lower brain is why you weigh what you weigh. Think about that. Every time you trust your lower brain and the actual information it gives you, you are putting more than likely more weight on your body. You had a stressful day, lower brain kicks in and says, hey, eat that candy. You deserve it. You've had a stressful day. Weight gain. You, you have a fight with your husband. You guys are not seeing eye to eye. You're feeling emotional. You ra rampage in the kitchen. All of a sudden, lower brain says, he's a jerk, whatever. You deserve better, da, 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 chat, 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 chat. Let's eat some of those leftover brownies. Weight gain. Everything you feel discomfort about, it's gonna recommend food or alcohol or both and it leads to weight gain. So when you trust your lower brain's advice, you are putting yourself in a position not where the photo you're looking at is the highest weight you will ever be. I never realized how much my lower brain created weight gain for me. I was, every time I trusted it, every time I listened to it, I was getting pulled down the road of gaining more and more weight. When I finally started talking back to my lower brain, no lower brain, yes, I did have a stressful day today, but chocolate's not gonna make it better. It's not gonna make my boss not be a jerk. It's not gonna make my coworkers less incompetent. None of that's gonna happen. I could at least maintain my weight, if not lose. And this is why you wanna be very cautious when it, when it tells you things like, oh my gosh, look how big you are. What's the point in doing any of this? immediately hear the words you're going to become heavier <laughs> your weight will go up it's whatever it is now that you think is unsatisfactory it's going to become higher and I, I explain this to my client like this let's say you're in a new town you don't have gps and there is a gas station and you keep pulling into the gas station for directions the guy comes out he says here's how you get to where you're trying to go he draws you a map he explains it you drive around, you can't find it. You pull back in the gas station, you ask him, how do I get where I wanna go? He draws you a map, he explains it. You can't find it. How many times, <laughs> how many times are you gonna pull into that same gas station with the same guy, have him draw you the same map before you say, I'm not listening to you. Like, your advice doesn't seem stellar here. It doesn't seem like you really know what you're doing or where you're going. That's your lower brain. He's the one working the gas station in this example. You need to break free of that and say, lower brain, I might not like how much I weigh right now. I may not like how I look in this picture right now. But if I listen to you and I don't do what I am planning today with my higher brain, you are probably guaranteeing me I'm going to weigh more the next time I take a picture. If you just did that, you would be moving in a better direction. So the walk away from this is your lower brain is the thing that convinces you to eat to deal with your discomfort. It's also the thing that gets in the way of you making any improvements because ultimately it tells you it's all pointless and worthless and da 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 da. 
then it makes your actions, you know, you don't take any actions. So then you put more weight on over time, right? So the way that you push past this is you call BS on it. You don't accept it as, as good directions. You might get the directions one time, you follow it, okay, that's fair. You do it a second time, thinking maybe the guy made a mistake. Okay, that's fair. Third, fourth, fifth time, eh, you need to kind of stop going to that gas station. You see what I'm saying? So this is another way the lower brain shows up. And again, what is it trying to do? Why is it doing this? It sounds so mean. It sounds so kind of underhanded. It doesn't want you to fail. It has seen you try this multiple times. It ironically is the reason you've probably never been successful. And it doesn't want to see you crash and burn again. So it just tries to convince you not to even go there. Don't even try. Don't even bother. Pick something else to focus on. But all the while, your higher brain wants you to make improvements. It wants you to get healthier. It wants you to get off your medication. It wants to see a better life for you. You see how this internal struggle exists, right? So the dismissal on this is you hear your lower brain say, oh my gosh, look at you in these photos. You're so large. You've gained so much weight. Why are you even trying it? You're never going to be successful. Da, 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 da. Okay, lower brain, I am large in this photo. I have gained weight. It's, it, facts are facts. But at the same time, whenever I trust your advice and your judgment, my weight goes up because you always recommend food. You always recommend me not to follow my healthy habits. I'm going to choose to disengage from that. And I am actually going to follow my higher brain plan today because this dance that you and I have been in is not helping me. It's not getting me out of this rut. It's not fixing my situation. It's actually making it worse. So when you think about why you binge, why you overeat, why you emotionally eat, all of those things more than likely coming from your lower brain. So just want to encourage you to think of it like that gas station guy giving really bad directions. How many times are you pulling into that gas station? Hopefully only once or twice. Hopefully after three times, you're just like, I am not going back there again. <laughs> that is my hope for you. All right, guys, I hope these videos are helpful. Please like and subscribe. Let me know if these are uh, uh, helping you moving forward in your journey. Also, please feel free to share them with other people. I really want to help others with this as well. And um, you have a fantastic day. I'll talk to you soon.